Hey guys, thanks for watching The Real Reviews. Today we have the Appa Baby Rumble Seat and this is version 2, V2. If you guys haven't seen my channel, please check it out. A lot more to come. Getting the Appa Baby Piggyback if you want to see how to install that. If you want to see how to install the Appa Baby, the whole Mesa, please check out my other videos. I did a step-by-step -step review. Today we're gonna be unboxing this after my short intro. Thank you guys. So today we have the Appa Baby Rumble Seat. This is version two, and I'm very excited to throw this on my Mesa. And what I love about the Appa Baby Rumble Seat, this is the NOAA navy color. So if you look at, there's 12 different colors on the website, um, Bye Bye Baby or uh, Nordstrom, Neiman Markets, wherever you want to buy this, there's 12 different colors. I don't know what other stores have, but I know that up a baby at um, byebyebaby.com has 12 different colors, which I did see. So this has the included attachments already in the box. It has, on top of that, it has the bumper bar and bug shield already in the box. So very interesting. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm going to show you how to install it on your Mesa, very easy. If you guys haven't even installed the Mesa or put it together, please check out my other video. I have a step-by-step, -step, very easy. Uh, a lot of people love that review. So we're gonna go into the uh, unboxing. I'm gonna throw the attachment or the quick link in my description. I don't make any money off of it. This is just so you don't have to find it and uh, look through the Google to see where it's at. Um, so another great thing we're going to talk about is no tools to install this on your upper baby. The attachments are connected and what you need to know, I'm going to get into, uh, let's open the box up and see what we have. So I got it open, very easy to do. We have Teddy here watching the unboxing as well. So let's give him a hand right there. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. And guys, don't be fooled why I'm not using the regular toddler seat for, uh, for the Mesa. is because the regular toddler seat that comes in with the Mesa package cannot connect to the lower adapters. Don't make the mistake I did. And the reason I bought the rumble seat is because if you know and you have two kids, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to use the bassinet on top and I'm gonna use the toddler seat on bottom, but that doesn't work that way. The toddler seat can only attach to the top Mesa connection that comes with your Mesa uh, baby stroller. So even if you buy the attachments for the lower adapters for the Mesa, it still won't work for the regular um, toddler seat that looks basically like the rumble seat and that's why I bought it. So here is the first thing inside the box. Let me look again and we do have the canopy on top. This is the navy color, uh, Noah. Let me close the box and let's go over what I see here. All right, looking at the canopy, let's remove this. And it has the beautiful upper baby insignia if you see right there and that's on the top, it does extend. It's got the version two on the top right. It's got a zipper as well in the back and easy connections on the bottom. So we're gonna show you how to connect to that. Let me throw this bag to the side. Inside the baby seat, It looks like one of these fell off, but it's got two little pads in the back so you don't uh, mess up the adapters. It's got the three year warranty for up a baby extend right there. It's got the bumper bar 
with the leather cover, which is very nice and soft. I definitely recommend the leather cover. And if your Uppa Baby did not come with the with the leather cover, you can buy that as attachments. It does have instruction manuals as well. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. So first we have the warranty registration. That's the three year warranty. We have the headquarters and different location sites where you can contact. Let's throw that to the side. And then we have the most important thing, which is the upper baby uh, manual. These are for 2015 and newer. And this is the Vista version two rumble seat. And it does work with the original Mesa baby stroller so in here we're going to take a look at how to install it should be very easy and plain and simple we um, do the bumper bar we connect the 15 which are the small adapters that they do come with i'm going to talk about that in a second we lock the pin on the side and i'll show you how to connect that to your mesa once it's connected it is locked and then you push the pin down. So now you can have the toddler seat on top and the rumble seat on bottom. And you can have it in two different positions and it's fully adjustable and reclinable, front facing and parent facing. And you can see that in the picture below. So that is the fully reclinable. And the reason that they made the rumble seat is because it's a little bit smaller to fit that reclining and that child in the front. And we're going to take a look at the toddler seat versus the rumble seat as well. All right, let's get into it. Let in, let's install the canopy and take a look at what else is in the bag with your rumble seat. So taking a look at what else is in the bag, as we talked about, it does have that bug protector in it, as well as got the upper baby rumble seat uh, insignia right here on the side. And this is great. So it one does come with your Mesa, and this is the second that you can actually put over, especially if the mosquitoes are at night and they're biting, especially in the summer, this goes in use a lot. I know I use it on my Mesa all the time. So it is a very nice addition that they added this so we don't have to buy it again. These are the adapters and they do come with the upper baby and uh, the rumble seat uh, version two and you can hear the click and we're going to do a full install on how to do that. It's got the rumble seat insignia right here I don't see the upper baby it just has that warning sticker on the inside and rumble seat again. We did buy the lower adapters. We made that mistake. Don't laugh at me. And I tried to install the toddler seat to the lower adapters. So we have the bassinet on top. So if you have two kids, you know, you need another seat for the bottom just so you can go out, uh, explore and uh, do different things. So that's why we bought the rumble seat. And we're going to take a look at how to install this um, and what the differences are between. So first, what I did was install the bumper bar. And the bumper bar is great. It's got that leather connection. And on the bottom of the rumble seat, just like on the upper baby Mesa, is that small button right there. And once you press that small button, you attach it. You attach it on both sides and you're done with that installation. Regarding the canopy, very interesting. It's got that pocket in the back, so you're gonna actually have to slide it behind. So I'm gonna open it up slightly, and you can see it's got that netted back, just like the regular toddler seat, just so you can see the kids get some airflow going. Here is a back view with a um, adjustable reclining button. And I'm just going to pull it over just like that. And once we have that, the side two clips, just clip on the side just like that. And you're ready to go. Push it down 
and the version two is fully completed right there. You can also zip up the back if you don't want it this low for sun protection, and that's how easy it is to assemble it. No tools are required. Everything is clip and go, and we're all set. So if I don't want that visibility, I can pop that back so it can't go down as far. The zipper is right here on the side. Great zipper, by the way. Um, and there you have it. This is the Rumble Seat version two. Now let's install it, or let's take a look at the original toddler seat, and we'll see the difference on uh, the Mesa itself and right here. So as you can see, if you're looking at the Vista toddler seat, so that's the baby stroller, the Vista, that comes with the bassinet, comes with the toddler seat, and the whole uh, stroller itself is on the right. So this is the toddler seat for the Vista. And if you can see right from the beginning how much larger the Vista toddler seat is compared to the rumble seat, and that's why they made the rumble seat, and to make it smaller, to fit and recline in the front section. They do give you those rumble seat attachments and we're gonna install it in a second, but let's take a quick look. So it looks like from, from the start that it is taller, way much taller than the original uh, toddler seat and that's why it's rumble seat is way smaller. It's got both the leather uh, bumper bars on the front. It looks like this does not move around. I, uh, as you can see on the Vista, you can adjust those on the bottom. So this is the leg position. Also, it looks like there is no sun shield like the Vista, which you can see right here, which goes all the way down. But also on the rumble seat, it is smaller. And once you remove the zipper, it does go farther down, so it does the same thing. There is no more magnetic cover on the top to see your child. You can unzip it, and we see that little slit with the mesh that you can see through it. Let's look at the weight on both of them. Very similar. I don't see any sizes. Obviously, the version two of the rumble seat is lighter. All right, let's attach it and see how it looks on the Vista stroller. So here's the upper baby Vista. Sorry guys, earlier in the review, I was saying Mesa and that's the baby car seat that we have as well. So this is the upper baby Vista. It does come with the toddler seat that we looked at earlier and this is the toddler seat. And as you can see, the toddler seat can connect with no issues. Uh, the biggest thing with this is if you buy the lower adapter connections, you cannot connect the upper baby Vista toddler seat to the lower bar connections. You can connect this in two different ways, front facing and rear facing, just like that. But today we're gonna take a look at the rumble seat which is right here so if you try to connect the rumble seat you're going to need the attachments the upper attachments which it does not fit it is not wide enough so we're going to take a look right now and install the adapters that we have right here so here is one of the adapters and how it gets installed make sure the rumble seat logo is facing on the inside and the connector is facing on the inward. So if we're gonna look on the bottom part, let's do a closer look. So if we're looking downwards right here, you can see that on the cargo uh, bin, there's actually a small uh, pin right here or a connecting rod. And what we're gonna do, if you can see on the connector, there's a little notch right here for that. We're gonna open this up just like that we're gonna slide it in, make sure you pop the yellow back and it pops right in and you slide it down towards that connector pin. You go, you can pop this little button off, you're gonna pull the yellow underneath 
and click it. Do the same thing for the other side and pop that button right back in. And there we go, we're done with one of the sides. We're gonna do the same exact thing for the other side. We're gonna slide it in. Make sure you pop the yellow back. Take the yellow pin and pop it back. Make sure it's slid down, that is fully connected. So now, let's take a look how it looks while it's attached. So now that it's both adapters are connected, let's click it on and see how it looks. There we go, and we can lock it just like that by pushing these buttons down, and now it's both locked in place. Now let's connect the toddler seat on top. And that's how it's going to look. So now we have the toddler seat in, and let's take a better look. Let me adjust the camera, and there we have it. We have the toddler seat. Let's look at how much room we actually have. They do have enough room and that is fully adjustable. And we can angle it upwards. And now we have a lot of room for the kids. I did bring it up too much. And there we have it. So now both of the kids have enough room. We can also recline this back we can also do it in two different orientations. Just like that. So there's a lot of different orientations we can do. So now we do have the rumble seat. Let's look how it looks with the upper baby Mesa this time. If you have a brand newborn baby and you have the rumble seat. So for the upper baby Mesa car seat, you're gonna need to do the extended upper adapters so it raises it up a little bit higher. And once that happens, it's gonna sit just like this. So you have the, the rumble seat in front and you have the uh, Mesa in the back. And you can also adjust it front facing and rear facing to see it. Thank you guys for watching. That's how you install the Rumble Seat version two. Very great quality, comes with the bug mat and the bumper bar. Thanks for watching. I have the bassinet, the upper baby bassinet stand. This is the new version. Please subscribe guys. Please give me a thumbs up and check out my next video.